For this tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you the different load configuration slots that Immersed offers you. Immersed lets you save different screen configurations into four different slots. What I've done personally is I've adjusted them from large and far all the way up to small and close. And the reason why is because those fit into different environments really well. This is my first slot which is the screens are very large and very far. If I look around, I'm in the nebula environment, you can tell these screens are very far away. It feels like I'm looking about 30 or 40 feet in front of me to, to focus on these screens, which is very relaxing on the eyes. However, these screens are so large, they won't fit in other environments. So if I want to go to a smaller environment, I need to shrink and bring the screens closer. So what I've done is I've gone, if you go to settings and monitor controls, and then you scroll to the bottom, here you see the load configurations. I'm currently in slot one. I'm going to go to slot two, and you'll notice when I do that, the screens will become smaller and closer. So here's slot two. There we go. So now you can see these screens are smaller and closer. You can tell by the by looking at the different um, perspective of these solar panels how they shrank and got closer. And this is an ideal configuration for the focus room. So now here I'm in the focus room and these screens are sort of maximized for this environment. Uh, they're nice and large, very big, and they're comfortable, but they're not so big that they're going into the walls and everything. Well, maybe I need, I want another environment, like one of my other favorites is the space station. These screens are still too big for the space station or the space lounge. So what I'll do is go to my next slot configuration, monitor controls, slot three, and again, the screens will get closer. There we go. So the screens got smaller and closer. And now if I go to the space lounge, you'll notice they fit really well on the space lounge. So now here, the screens are pretty much optimized for this space. I can still see them very well. They're nice and big, but they're not too big for this environment. I can enjoy the view of the earth and see all my work and everything and still be comfortable. But let's say I want to go into the cafe and maybe socialize with some people into the public cafe. These screens are still way too big. So once again, I go into my settings, monitor controls, and I'll go to slot four. Now these screens are super snug, but they're still big enough to, to, to really work well, but they're tight and close. So if I go to the cafe, you'll see what that feels like. So here I am in the cafe and you can see I'm sitting in this chair and I can still see all my screens. Um, I might go ahead and move out to another area. In the public cafe, this sort of spot over here is, is a, a very common area to hang out with people. Now I can see my screens and still be very close and social with other people. And if I need to hide my screens, I can just hide them and I can talk to people and then I can get back to work. But again, now um, this is the screen configuration that is pretty much perfect for this environment. So aligning screen configuration slots with different environments is one way you can really uh, make transitions between environments fun and easy. I hope that tip helped and you can start using slot configurations. And by the way, you don't have to manually save the slot configurations. Just load a slot configuration, adjust the, the screens however you want them, and it's automatically saved uh, for you. You don't have to press a button or anything. So hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I pray that God blesses you.